Hello, I'm Lawrence Gold, developer of the program Comforting Your SI Joints. This video segment gives you an overview of the program, which means how it came into existence and the general structure of the program, as well as who it's good for. In another video introduction, I'll give you information on how to use the program. For now, this is just a general overview. This program is suitable for people who have severe sacroiliac joint dysfunction, also called sacroiliitis and a turn sacrum, people for whom standard therapeutics has failed to bring relief. This program works and it works by a completely different approach than standard therapeutics. Standard therapeutics generally uses manipulations of the sacrum in order to alleviate the symptoms or means that mask the pain of a turned sacrum, which may appear nearly any place in the body due to reflexive muscular contractions triggered by the pain of the turned sacrum. The approach this program takes is to retrain the muscular system, particularly the postural reflexes, so that the right and left sides, which have been made asymmetrical or different right to left, to become mirror image symmetrical right to left. When that happens, the muscular pulls and weight bearing forces of the body in ordinary movement gradually induce the pelvis to change shape and the sacrum to turn into its normal position for support and movement. That's the general difference between this approach and all of the others. The action patterns used progressively retrain your feeling and control of your entire muscular system in a series of graded steps. The graded steps consist of different action patterns that cause different changes to how you use various muscles and muscle groups throughout the body. The changes start nearly immediately and are cumulative. That means that you will be gradually improving over time with some general ebb and flow, that is, better days and worse days, but a general trend toward feeling better and better and moving better and better. Now, a few words on the causes of sacroiliac joint dysfunction so that you can see how what this program does and the understanding behind this program fits your situation. Generally, a sacrum gets displaced from its normal position by a hard blow. The hard blow may be a fall, such as in skiing or playing soccer or some vigorous sport, but it may also come from a fall, such as from a tree, a ladder, a horse, or from a roof. The hard blow does two things. It mechanically or physically causes the sacrum to get turned and the pelvis itself to lose its shape and it triggers patterns of muscular contraction both in the pelvis and throughout the body. Those patterns of tension of muscular contraction actually keep the sacrum in its turned position. It's a reaction to the trauma of the hard blow to the pelvis. The action patterns in this program correct or free you from those muscular contractions and as I said gradually cause the pelvis to reshape and the sacrum to straighten in its position. My own experience with sacroiliac joint dysfunction 
began, I think, in childhood, with a couple of hard falls on my sit-me-down when roller skating and a fall from a second-story balcony. Some decades later, after years of such discomfort in my pelvis and waistline that I would forcibly pop my back for relief by twisting, I had a major episode of sacroiliac joint dysfunction that started one afternoon with a bit of exercising and a sudden pop on the left side of my waistline in back, followed almost instantly by lightning bolt-like hot sensations burning through my abdomen, and which followed with a succession of symptoms that included pain on the opposite side, SI joint in back, pain in the right buttock, sciatica-like symptoms going down my right leg behind the knee into the calf that felt like a cramp or like common sciatica, but which didn't respond as common sciatica usually does quickly to somatic education. And then other sensations, such as a gripping sensation in my lower abdomen that made sitting in a car seat an ordeal, numbness on the front and side of my right thigh, pain in the ribs over my liver, tension in my neck that made it feel like my head was being jammed down into my upper vertebrae, a feeling like a tight wire going down the back of my spine into the pelvis, and other symptoms. This program then came out of my need to get rid of those symptoms because basically I was having a lot of trouble functioning. I would have difficulty putting on socks, couldn't lean over to flush the toilet without my entire midsection seizing up in painful tightness, difficulty turning over in bed, and changes of my walking pattern that made me feel like I was walking like a duck. My back was always in a high state of tension so that my back was arched and my pelvis was rotated so that the right hip was forward, which goes along with the left SI joint being jammed forward. So now you know what I came from and why I developed this program. It was a fairly horrendous condition for me, so I imagine, likewise, it must be so for you. I developed the program to clear up my own problem, and it took years of relentless exploration and development until I understood what the pattern was with which I was dealing. And that, at first, became a series of videos that I created to document what I was doing in myself, and then when I felt my symptoms majorly improved, I published these videos freely online on the Full Spectrum Somatics blog. Two years later, I sent out a questionnaire to all the people who had requested the regimen, that is, the series of exercises in order, and I got back very good results from these people, and so I rendered the videos that I first did as documentation of what I was developing into the program that now exists called Comforting Your SI Joints. The program itself has four basic sections. Those are called Units 1, 2, and 3. Unit 1 contains two sections, one being the orientation of which this current video segment is a part, and the other is in basic instruction in movements that you do every time you practice the action patterns of this program. So you'll be learning to manually examine the position of your sacrum to determine which side of the sacrum is jammed deeper at the SI joint and you need to be able to do that self-examination in order to correctly choose the side on which to do unit 2 sections A and D, which consists of four action patterns. In addition to learning how to evaluate your own sacral position, you'll be learning how to get into one of the basic working positions used throughout the program. 
and you'll be learning a technique called the tongue mudra. The tongue mudra is a positioning of the tongue in the mouth that causes sensations that spontaneously cause releases and changes of physical tension and postural shape. The tongue mudra is a big deal. Don't be fooled by the simplicity of the name or the fact that it involves the mouth and tongue. Its effects are extensive and in my case I often found it creating effects all the way into my pelvis and sacrum. Learn the tongue mudra. It's a big deal. It will massively improve the effects of the somatic education exercises, the action patterns of this program. Each section of instruction contains an introduction. The introduction to each action pattern tells you what to expect from that action pattern and the kinds of sensations that the action pattern will produce. The introduction also tells you how many days to do the action patterns in each section before moving to the next. The idea is to get a certain amount of change in each before moving to the next so that the amounts of change produced by each section are roughly equivalent. If you try to do too much in any one action pattern, the remainder of your tension patterns will tend to make you backslide. So instead we keep progress relatively even throughout the body with multiple repetitions through all of the sections of Unit 2, sections A through F and then back from F to A, back and forth repeatedly getting more and more change each time. So that completes our overview of the program. Next you go to the segment on how to use the program. As you go through the program, because of the different nature of this program to the usual approaches taken in therapy, it will be very useful for you to review these introductory video segments. At first, every time you practice, and then perhaps after every four practice sessions. These introductory segments answer a lot of questions that come up for people as they do this program. So consult these segments before you consult me for answers. It'll be quicker for you than waiting for me to get back to you to schedule a mentoring session. Some people will be concerned that they're not doing the action patterns correctly, either because they're not sure they understand the instructions, which are all demonstrated in the instructional videos, or they get symptoms surfacing from doing one or the other of the action patterns. The symptoms are just showing you the places in you that still need work. The most you would expect from discomfort is some soreness that would last perhaps a day or a day and a half after practice. Those symptoms spontaneously subside. Nonetheless, they may trigger some people to think they may have done something wrong. And for that eventuality, I offer mentoring in this program, both in person and live online. Live online involves the use of a camera, so I can see what you're doing, and recording the session for replay. That'll enable you to review what you've been told in any given mentoring session. The address to inquire about mentoring appears at the bottom of your screen. When you inquire at that email address, I'll provide the link online for all of the options for personal online mentoring.